What's up, Road to Riches family? Today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a stock market recap and talk about one of my favorite stocks that's up over 10% today. So overall today, good market. Um, market is up 1.24% today. Uh, when I say the market, I'm talking about SPY. SPY is the ETF trust fund of the top 500 companies in the U.S. Currently, the stock is at $442. Okay, so it's up $5 today. And again, up 1.24%. So overall, market kind of reacted good to the news yesterday. Uh, a lot of stocks running today. So one of those big stocks that we're talking about that's over 10%. Is Carvana. Carvana is up 12.74% today. Now, the reason that this stock is up so much, stock is actually up 68% in the past week. Now, we got a lot of news on the stock. We're going to be doing a deep dive into what's been going on and why is, why is this stock running. So, you know, the news is always the reason why behind, uh, behind why these stocks is running. Not, um, 100% of the time, there's other factors, other things that could be at play. But most of the time, it's because of that good news. So shares of Carvana, the high today gains persist after a mix of last week's strong second quarter guidance and used car prices rising. So if you don't know about Carvana, Carvana, um, they use online uh, services to buy and sell cars. So if you need to sell a car, you need to buy a car, you can go online, go to Carvana and buy a car from them. Okay, they do a lot of uh, marketing. That's the reason why I got in a long time ago because they did a lot of marketing. I did like the company, what they were doing, um, their whole business model. So that's why I thought it was good. And that's why I'm a current uh, investor in this stock. Okay. Not saying that you guys should be, but this is why I chose the stock. Okay. So a little bit. Partly surprised, but not completely surprised by this, especially when we look uh, at like the sales numbers we saw today. Used car sales rising. Look at shares of Carvana up over double digits over the past couple of days, extending their gains. So this stock just in a few days is up about 20, 30 percent. OK, some analysts say, I mean, the stock is overvalued. So but it's not playing out in terms of of the numbers today investors joined in on carvana it's not just the risk on trade i mean one of the data points that we looked at recently brad was about the amount of time people were holding onto their cars and the data showed there was a record at around 12 years now which is used to be i guess 9 to 11 years and 11 years was kind of unheard of i've held onto my cars eight years old so i'm heading there so all of this is from Yahoo Finance. They had a little bit of a talk about it. And they're basically saying that most people hold on to their cars. So they don't know why people are investing in the stock. Um, most people hold on to their cars for 12 years now. So nobody's really buying new cars. But again, you're going to have people that like the stock, that's for the stock. You're going to have people that's against the stock, that's based on the stock. All right. So you choose what you want to do with that information and things like that. But again, I like what the stock's been doing. Again, they had a great second quarter. Um, there's also more news that we gotta talk about with this stock. So if you if you was uh listening to our other video that we did, we talked about this fund that actually short sold Carvana. So basically another reason why this stock is moving is because the stock rose in the face of an attack from short seller Carisdale Capital, an extended short squeeze also pushed it higher. So as of 1.35 p.m., the stock was up 41% for the week, according to data from S&P Global Market Intelligence. So this is actually crazy. So the short seller was Carisdale Capital. And they didn't make too bad of an argument necessarily, but Carvana is already down 90% from its peak in 2021. And the business is showing signs of improvement, meaning investors see more of an upside than downside nowadays. So I'll be honest, when 2021 came, that was basically a little bit after Corona was still lingering around 
and things like that. So, at that time, I believe Carvana was up, um, at this point, thousands of, um, percentages, and the exact number that it was at, at its peak, was $345, so that's something to sit there and really think about, the stock was at $345, right now, the stock is only at $25, imagine if we do, in about 5 years, even 10 years, see this stock at $300, $1,000, that would be a crazy upside, so, we haven't seen Carvana, to be honest, at this low of a point where it was in the 20s since like, uh, since like 2020, to be honest. Like, in 2020, um, the stock was at $20 around that point, but that was when the market crashed in 2020. We also did a video, a little mini documentary about, um, all of the stock market crashes, including the 2020 market crash. But once that, uh, after that happened in 2021 came, the stock went all the way up to $345, making it a thousand percent gain. So that's actually crazy to think about. Um, but neither, uh, neither less to say, basically, Carisdale, they had a short position. So they took a short on the stock. When you short a stock, instead of buying it and making your money from it going up, you're basically selling it. Instead of buying it, and and you basically want the stock to go down. So you're basically buying it at a lower point. It's a little bit confusing, but just think of it as the opposite of uh buying low and selling high. Okay, it's basically the opposite of you buying a stock. They're just selling it, and they make profits off of it going down. So that's why when I say... Even if the market goes down, you can still make money by shorting uh, these stocks. Don't get me wrong, though. It's, it's tough to uh, short. Uh, you got to have a certain account for all of that. So it's not just something you could get on here and just start short selling. Because um, there's a lot of fees and things like that that come with short selling. But again, that's our little dive into Carvana. Just to sum it up, though, we had um, a little bit of a short squeeze from... Uh, Carisdale Capital, um, shorting the stock. They didn't have bad reasons why they wanted to short it. We talked about that, um, in a few episodes ago. Um, but hey, they got short squeezed. Also, we had second quarter, um, good news and sales. And also recently we've been seeing used car sales rising. So not too bad on the second quarter and not too bad of a day in the market. Um, it was a good day for me. I didn't take no day trades though. Um, I didn't feel too comfortable day trading. One of the highest, um, one of the highest and best, uh, stocks that I seen running today as far as, uh, going long on the day trade was, uh, EDTX. Um, they actually had a nice little run from like $20 to $40, but that was around like lunchtime. So all that happened around 12 to like, market close or uh, until like two o'clock so hey if you missed that that's fine i like to do my day trades in the morning uh if nothing's really going for me in the morning i ain't taking the trade so tomorrow we'll tap into day trading journey three and we'll see where the market goes tomorrow but that's it for the video and i'll see y'all in the next one